following the approval of malaria vaccine rts for children in sub-saharan africa by the global health watchdog um, world health organization a public health practitioner dr tuli meba wondu says the development will help the region to achieve the goal of malaria elimination by the year 2030 mercy egboku reports according to the world health organization who Malaria is one of the main causes of childhood illnesses and death in sub-Saharan Africa. As a child dies from the disease every two minutes, data from WHO says 260,000 African children under the age of five dies from malaria annually. The RTSS malaria vaccine is a result of 30 years of research and development by GlaxoSmithKline through a partnership with PATH and support from a network of African Research Center with support from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. A medical practitioner believes that the malaria vaccine will be instrumental in achieving sustainable development goal of malaria elimination by 2030. Um, this will be a good instrument in fighting the scourge of malaria and in achieving the target of malaria elimination uh, by the year 2030. Now, um, if you look at it, malaria kills as much as uh, half a million people every year. Um, malaria afflicts under 20 million people in 140 countries. Um, and then, most of these malaria deaths and infections are in sub-Saharan Africa. Moxcurex is not just the first approved vaccine for malaria. It is the first developed for any parasitic disease. While we are concerned about the efficacy of the vaccine, the health practitioner speaks in favor of it. In 2019, um, studies were conducted in three main African countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Kenya, Malawi, and Ghana. During these um, um, studies, more than 2.3 million doses of the, first, of the vaccines were given to children, under five, as well as under five children and pregnant women. And the result of the study confirmed a reduction of as much as 60% in the fatality of severe malaria caused by PFAS Meanwhile, some Nigerians are indifferent about giving the vaccines to the world. I won't allow my children to take it. The drugs we have for malaria are effective. So I don't know why there should be a vaccine. Actually, I will ask my I will have my child to take it. Because I would like to I would like to see those that have taken it in advance, the reaction on them. The same way I'm careful about this COVID vaccine. I'm trying to observe those that have taken it in advance. Whatever the reaction on them will determine my next decision. Increasing knowledge and awareness of importance of proper water sanitation hygiene will help in reducing malaria transmission and has proven to be beneficial. Messi Ibukbo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.